When you create video or animation with AI tools like Pika Labs, Pixverse AI, and others, you get a 3 or 4 second video that is too short. When you're creating content for a story, advertisement, or any other work, you may need to change the duration of some scenes. This limitation will be removed in the future, but for now, we need a way to increase the duration of the video. Today, I want to show you step-by-step -step how to create longer videos, how to merge them, and finally how to remove the video watermark and use it. I do this in Pixverse AI, and you can do the same with other AI videos that support image to video. Be with us until the end. Open the Pixverse.ai website. If you are not familiar with creating and animating videos with Pika Labs and Pixverse AI, I have already created tutorials for them. You can click on the links above. Write your prompt. I use anime style. Change the setting and press create button. If you are not satisfied with the result, create it again. I like this one. So let's go to the next step. Open easygif.com. Easygif is a completely free online GIF maker and toolkit for different tasks. On this website, we can easily transform video into a series of high-quality PNG or JPG images. I want to use this website to get the last frame of the video. Click on Video to GIF. I want to get the last frame in PNG format, so click on Video to PNG tab. Press Choose File button and select video file that was created in the previous section. Press the Upload Video button. If you want to get all frames of the video, keep the start time at zero, otherwise, to get the last frame increase the start time. I don't need all the frames. My video is 4 seconds so I set the start time to 3.9. You can choose the image size and frames per second. I choose a higher FPS value. Press the Convert to PNG button. Scroll down. The last image is the last frame that we need it. To download the image, right-click on it. Select Save Image As. Let's go to the next step. In previous steps, we generated a video and extracted its last frame. Now, using this image, we want to create another video, which is a continuation of the previous one. We use the prompt and seed number from the first video. Use the image to video section. Upload the last frame. Write prompt. I remove the extra part and keep what I want to see in the resulting video. Write the seed number. Press the create button. This is the result. You can create it several times and choose the best one. If you don't get the proper result, try changing the prompt. Download the result. Now we have two videos. If you need this scene for a longer duration, you can do this several times. Create a video, extract the last frame, and create another video using this frame. Each time extract the last frame of the last videos you created and continue. You can use any video editing software to merge the created videos. I'll show you how to do this in CapCut. Open the CapCut.com website. You can use this editor directly in your web browser. Press the sign up for free button. Sign up with your account or email and password. Press the create new button. In the video section, select the canvas size based on your needs. Drag and drop your created videos here. Drag the videos in order on the timeline. You can add transition between different parts of the videos. Just click on the desired one. You can add text or edit your videos based on your needs. Press export button to download the result. Click the download button. You can change some settings based on your needs. I use the default settings. Press the export button. Press the download button. Open 123apps.com website. Here you can see several tools. You can see the pricing plans from here. In the free plan, you can use 5 files daily. So you can remove watermark from 5 videos. Click on Remove Logo from Video. Drag your video here, or click the Open File button and select the video. 
Determine the watermark that you want to remove. Press Save. To download the result click the Save button. Like, subscribe, and share your experience with us in the comment. Stay tuned for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.